Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm really excited because we're diving into some of the coolest Samsung features. A mix of brand new additions and older gems that many users either forgot about or never even knew existed. So Samsung has one of the most customizable and powerful Android ecosystem out there, but the truth is most people barely scratch the surface. So whether you're a longtime Samsung old timer who remembers the early days of TouchWiz or you're someone who just switched to Galaxy device and is still exploring what it can do, this video is packed with features that can seriously upgrade your daily experience. From animated wallpapers to deep good lock tools, gesture tricks, customizable shortcuts and few visual enhancements that make your device feel premium. So there's something here for everyone. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and lets me keep bringing you more Samsung tutorials and hidden features breakdown. All right, let's jump into the seven Samsung features you should be using right now. So the first feature is where you can search in settings with higher accuracy. The so Samsung setting app is massive, so it's sometimes overwhelming. So Registar, part of the Samsung Good Luck Suite, enhances the basic search function inside your settings so that it becomes far more responsive and targeted. So instead of giving you broad category suggestions, it pinpoints exactly what menus or hidden options the moment you start typing. So let me show you first the normal setting search, and then I'll show you the upgraded setting search. So here, say for example, if I go ahead and search for password, so this will basically give me all the different settings. So I'll have password in the Samsung account, I'll have password in lock screen and AOD, I'll have something related to password and security and privacy. So these search results give you broad category suggestions, which is not really useful. So let me show you how you can improve the search results and give you accurate results. So first we'll go ahead and open up the Good Luck app. In the Good Luck app, scroll all the way down and find Registrar. Next, you wanna go ahead and tap on Search Options. And here you wanna go ahead and find Display Policy. So by default, it's set to Menu Order. However, you wanna go ahead and switch to accuracy. Now you wanna go ahead and try searching. So again, I'll search on password. And this will now give you better results. So now, as you can see, this will give you all the results related to passwords. And here you'll be able to find your settings really quick. So this cuts down the time spent searching through long settings menu. It helps new users learn features without getting lost. Okay, and this is perfect for advanced users who want speed and precision. The second feature is where you can create this open joker animated lock screen. The Samsung now supports animated lock screen and you can go ahead and create one of the fan favorite, which is the joker animated lock screen. So it's not just a wallpaper, it's a moving dynamic animation that activates each time, each time you rock your device back and forth and it basically shows the joker. So using Samsung's wallpaper service and Wonderland module, you can fully integrate animation loops with smooth motion effects. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you need some artwork. So you can go ahead and open up TikTok and here you can go ahead and download characters. So I've just searched for Joker wallpaper and using AI select, I've downloaded this wallpaper. Let me just quickly show you clear mode and then go ahead and select the wallpaper and then go ahead and download it. Now next I've gone ahead and found myself a background. So here I'm just using a red background, but you can go ahead and choose any background you like. So you can go ahead and search for black background, red, yellow, anything you like. Then I've gone ahead and opened up Gemini. And in Gemini, I have basically uploaded that picture and I've asked it to create a torn paper effect at the top and the bottom. So this is what the results came out to be. I went ahead and downloaded that picture. Next, I went into another app called Photo R or Photo Room. Here, I've basically asked it to create me a transparent background. So it removes the background. So you can go ahead and tap on start from photo, go ahead and select that photo. And then it'll basically remove the background and then go ahead and save the transparent image of it. Now we've got all the pieces. Now we'll go ahead and assemble this. So first we'll go ahead and open up the Good Luck app. In the Good Luck app, scroll down and find Wonderland module. Tap on that. 
then tap on create your own moving wallpaper. Here we'll tap on the plus sign and here we'll go tap on gallery. So first we'll go ahead and add that image. So this is the image which I want to show. Next we'll tap on the plus sign and we'll use the torn image, which is that. And we'll go ahead and put it at an angle. Just try to put it at the center of the screen. So where the torn image is, it should be at the center of the screen. Next we'll add another image and we'll put that at the top. And again, try to make it so that it matches the torn image angle here. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on one of the image here at the top, tap on image settings, and then tap on apply individual settings. Here we'll go ahead and apply some Y movement. You can go ahead and play around with the settings. Let's go ahead and move it to minus 30 instead. So this is what I want, yes. Next, go ahead and choose the second image and then go ahead and apply individual motion effect and go ahead and choose positive 30 and preview it. Okay, I'm happy with that. Just wanna go ahead and just move this slightly up so that it overlaps it. Now I'll go ahead and tap on save and then go ahead and save again. And then now set it as a wallpaper for a lock screen. So now when you go ahead and look at the lock screen, you'll see that effect. So this adds style, personality, and motion to your phone. It makes your lock screen stand out compared to static images, and it creates a premium and a visually engaging experience. So this is great for users who enjoy theme-based customization, and this works smoothly without major battery impact. The third feature is where you can back tap to open the notification panel. The Samsung Registrar module also unlocks the back tap gesture, allowing you to double tap or triple tap the back of your device to perform quick action like this. So this is one of the most useful option in opening the notification panel instantly. So if you're using a big phone like the S24 Ultra or the S25 Ultra, reaching the top of the screen one-handed can be tricky. Backtap solves this by giving this physical shortcut that doesn't require you touching the screen. So instead of reaching over with your thumb here to pull the notification bar, you can just go ahead and enable the backtap and this will open up the notification panel. So for this, you need to go ahead and first open up the GoodLock app. Now in the GoodLock app, scroll down and find Registrar. Next, you want to find Backtap Action, turn it on, and then go ahead and find Double Tap or Triple Tap. So I've set it for Double Tap. Go ahead and find Show Notification option, which is right here. Make sure to select that. And then you want to go ahead and customize the sensitivity. So I've just left it to the center right now. I'm good with that. Press home. Now go ahead and try this out. And there you go. So this is one hand friendly for large Samsung devices. It opens notification without you stretching your thumb. So this is a perfect accessibility tool for users with mobility challenges. The fourth feature is where you can create an anime wallpaper, which is animated on your lock screen or your home screen. So if you're an anime fan, Samsung lets you apply animated scenes, clips, or motion wallpapers to your lock screen. So these use Samsung's built-in animation engine or the Good Locks customization tool like the Wonderland module to give you a clean, smooth moving background that plays every time you move your screen. So whether it's looping clouds, blinking characters, hair movement, or subtle scene transition, so these animated anime wallpaper brings your lock screen to life. So let me show you how you can create this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So to create this animated anime wallpaper on your Samsung Galaxy device, you need to collect three items. So here we'll go ahead and collect the background. We'll collect two characters in a fighting position. So here we'll go ahead and open up Google. So first I've gone ahead and searched for anime background. Go ahead and download any anime background from here. Go ahead and long press on this and then go ahead and download the image. Next, you want to go ahead and search for anime character sword pose or holding the sword. So here I've just gone ahead and taken this character. I'll go ahead and download him. Next, I'll go ahead and download this person here and we'll download those images. Now that's done. We'll go ahead and open up gallery. And now here, what we need to do is we need to take this character and we need to make it transparent. So in order to do this, we'll go ahead and long press on it. We'll go ahead and tap on the three dots and then save it as an image. So this saves it as a PNG image. 
We'll do this the same for this character. Save as an image. Now for this character, we need to go ahead and make it face the opposite side. So we'll go ahead and edit this. We'll go ahead and flip it and then tap save. Go ahead and increase the resolution so you get the highest resolution quality. And let's just go ahead and do this again. I'll save this. Now we have all the pieces, so we'll go ahead and assemble this. Go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. In the GoodLock app, open up the Wonderland module. Tap on create your own wallpaper. We'll go ahead and create a new one. Tap on gallery and we'll first go ahead and put this background. So let's go ahead and put this background. Next, we'll go ahead and tap on the plus sign and add an image. And we'll go ahead and add the first character, which is this. So let's go ahead and add him, add this person just here at the bottom left. We'll go ahead and add another character. And we'll add him at the top right. Now next, we'll go ahead and select one of the characters. So for example, the top one, image settings, and we'll enable the individual motion settings. So you wanna go ahead and set the X and the Z movement. So let's just go ahead and preview this. Yep, I'm happy with that. Next, we'll choose the second character. And again, enable the motion effect. And let's go ahead and put it at the negative side. So now when we go ahead and move this, you see that the characters are actually moving when you move the phone. So now this is just an example. Just go ahead and create a slightly larger. Now, once we're done with this, tap save, save again. And then we'll go ahead and set this as our wallpaper for our lock screen. Press home. Now go ahead and view your lock screen. So you have an animated anime wallpaper on your lock screen. So this is perfect for anime fans who wants true personalization. It gives you smooth transition without any lags. It adds a vibrant character to your phone, helps your device feel uniquely yours. And this works well alongside with the always on themes as well. The fifth feature is where you can add specific setting shortcuts to your home screen. So Samsung allows users to create direct home screen shortcuts to nearly any part of the setting apps. So instead of tapping into settings, connections, hotspot, and so on, you can place a shortcut that opens directly to that exact screen you need. So this works for Wi-Fi, hotspot, NFC, app settings, battery sound, and many more. So first, let me show you how to turn this feature on, and then I'll show you how to set the shortcut. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. In the GoodLock app, scroll down and find Registar. Now you wanna go ahead and tap on Search Options. And here you wanna go ahead and find Display Policy. Make sure it's set to Accuracy. Next, you wanna go ahead and find Allow Creation of Shortcut and make sure it's turned on. So now once that's done, press Home. Go ahead and open up your settings. Here we'll go ahead and tap on search and we'll go ahead and search for, let's say, Wi-Fi. So now you can go ahead and find any shortcut you want. So let's just say, for example, I want a shortcut to intelligent Wi-Fi. So I'll go ahead and long press on this. And now this will let me add the intelligent Wi-Fi shortcut to my home screen. Tap on add. Let's go ahead and add one more shortcut as well. I want to go ahead and add Galaxy AI shortcut. So Galaxy AI. Go ahead and long press on this and then add that shortcut. Now that's done, press home and let's go ahead and view these shortcuts. So one's an intelligent Wi-Fi and the other one is Galaxy AI. I can go ahead and tap on intelligent Wi-Fi. This will take me straight to the intelligent Wi-Fi menu. If I tap on Galaxy AI, this will take me straight to Galaxy AI menu. So this saves time by giving you one tap access to deep settings. It reduces scrolling and menu navigation. It makes your phone feel more like customizable desktop. So this is great for advanced users and it's perfect for organizing commonly used controls. The sixth feature is where you can convert the spatial water depth wallpaper into an animated live wallpaper. So if you've been watching my previous video, I've basically showed you how to create this iPhone style iOS 26.1 spatial water wallpaper effect on your Samsung screen. However, as you can see, it's quite boring and you can go ahead and jazz this up by adding animated graphics like this on your lock screen. So this gives you a 3D effect on your lock screen, basically animating it. So let me show you how you can do this. So to begin with, some of you have already set this kind of wallpaper. So we'll go ahead and start off here. For those of you who are still confused on how to set this on your Samsung Galaxy device, I'll link a video of that 
in the description down below. So you can go ahead and follow that video and then return back to add animated graphics to the lock screen. So for this, we need to go ahead and open up the Play Store, search for Live Widget. Go ahead and search for this app and go ahead and download it. Now, once downloaded, press home, go ahead and customize the lock screen. So tap on wallpaper and style, tap on your lock screen here. Now we'll go ahead and tap on lock star and then tap on app widgets. Scroll down, find live, live widget. Go ahead and tap on GIF widget. We'll add that widget. We'll go ahead and tap on this and then tap on widget settings, tap on plus sign and we'll go ahead and select from Jiffy. So here, let's go ahead and find a school of fish. Now let's go ahead and find this. So I'm quite interested in this. We'll go ahead and tap on check. And then we'll go ahead and now move this so that's under the water. So now I like this, I'll tap on done. And then we can go ahead and press home, go ahead and view it. So as you can see, now you have a animated lock screen with the water depth effect which is copying the iPhone style. So this adds real-time movement and interaction to your wallpaper. It makes your home screen feel futuristic and alive. It enhances the depth and shadow animation with the modern AMO LED screen. And this is fully customizable for different visual styles and effects. And lastly, the seventh view is where you can change the view of your recent app. Samsung's Task Changer, part of the GoodLock's Home Up module, allows you to fully customize how your recent app screen looks. So instead of being stuck with the default layout, which is this, you can go ahead and change it to a grid view, stack view, slim list view, classic card style, or you can have different animations as well. So this gives your multitasking a brand new look and a feel while also making it easier to locate apps quickly. So let me show you how you can customize this view here. So for this, we need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and find Home Up module, tap on this. Now find Home Screen and make sure this is turned on. Now you wanna go ahead and find this option here, Use Setting Dialog on Home Screen. Make sure that's turned on. Now once that's done, press Home, go ahead and open up the Recent App View, and then go ahead and tap on the three dots, then tap on Home Up. Now here, this is the menu you'll get for your Task Changer. So you can go ahead and choose Layout Type, and you can go ahead and change it to grid view. So we have the grid view here, vertical list, and we have the slim list. So here you can go ahead and choose mini mode as well. You can go ahead and choose center the currently running app. You can choose app labels, yes or no, and you can go ahead and choose if you wanna see the search bar or not. In the vertical list, you can go ahead and turn on circular list. So if I go ahead and switch this off, so as you can see, this these only move up and down. However, if you go ahead and turn on the circular movement for vertical list, this will be basically to give you a, a round movement here. So you can choose from multiple layouts based on your preference. Grid view reduces scrolling by showing many apps at once. You have faster animation, which makes your phone feel snappier. And this is great for power users who multitask heavily. And that wraps up today's video. These seven Samsung features, some old, some new, show just how insanely customizable Galaxy devices can be. So whether you're an experienced Samsung user or just someone brand new to the ecosystem, these tools can completely transform the way you use your phone every day. So if you enjoyed this breakdown and want to see more Samsung tips, tutorials, and hidden features, be sure to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel grow and lets me know which feature you want me next to cover. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.